if you were to look right down here, you're going to see a clamp. If you were to look at the other end where it connects on to the throttle body, you're going to see another clamp. You'd go ahead and loosen those up. Also, if you come right up here, you're going to see an 8 millimeter bolt. If you loosen that up, you can take this right out. Once you have that out of the way and the clamps are loosened, you can wiggle this around. I'm going to draw it off of the throttle body right here. And I'm going to come right there, take it off of right here, remove it from the vehicle. So now that we have the intake and the little shell out of the way here, it gives us a nice clear view. You don't necessarily need to take off the shell, but I just like to have it out of the way. Go ahead and relieve your tension like that. And then I'm just going to take the belt off of the idler pulley here, and then I can let go of that. We'll get our serpentine belt tool right out of the way. Let's go ahead and remove the belt. Go ahead and take one side, go down and around the passenger side of the water pump, which is this right here, and then put it over the crank, which is the main pulley over there. Just going to circle it, put it up, and then slide it around. I'm going to take one. I'm going to come up and over the tensioner right here, and then the other side, I'm going to bring it down and around the water pump, and then underneath the power steering pump, it's going to fit right inside the ribs perfectly, and then I'm going to come up, make sure it's sitting in those ribs, there it is, come up and over the uh, alternator right here, this looks good, make sure everything's situated approximately where it needs to be, that looks great. I'm going to grab my tensioner tool. Put it on there. Relieve tension. Now we'll take this, bring it right underneath the idler pulley. This is your idler pulley. Get our tool off. Give it a nice tug. And then, of course, double check all of your pulleys. Every one of them that has the rib side that goes up against the belt, you need to make sure it's sitting perfectly inside the ribs. Wondering what your belt routing should look like? You can find it right on the front. Get our intake back on here. It's going to go right underneath this hose here. Line it up there. Grab this. Slide it in. Push it all the way in so it's up against the whole throttle body. Make sure your clamps are nice and tight. Your hose over here should have a little clippy do. Ours is actually broken, but it's going to push in right there and that'll hold it secure. This cover back on here, just slide it all the way back so it's sitting inside the pitons. Put this down and tighten up your bolt.